Hey YouTube, it's Tara. So this week it is pouring outside again. I actually got to hit three yard sales on my way in and then by eight o'clock this morning the skies opened up and there was a downpour so all of the yard sales closed down. So what I'm gonna do this week is do a little tour of my shop. Ta-da! So um, I have this thing about I have to put out a video every week. It's just a goal that I set so so that I can make that goal. I'm going to do a tour of my shop. So if you're interested in seeing secondhand shops, buy, sell shops, stick around for that. I'm also doing a blog on this ring. It's a pretty cool ring that I bought in a lot. And um, it's more interesting to me probably than anyone else. But check out that blog in the links below. All right, so that's about it. Hopefully next week I can get back on the yard sale, garage sale, trash pick and grind. Until then, happy hunting. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. And most importantly, leave me some comments. This is who greets you when you come into the shop. He greets everybody that comes into Warren. So everybody has to ring a bell and they get buzzed in. It's very typical for coin shops to have the bell system because you don't want people coming in and robbing you. So here I have some military uniforms as a Cracker Jack outfit. The back of the door I decorated with old newspapers. These are all from the 60s. It's funny to look at the prices and uh, I just wanted to make, look, make it look more antique. So my store is pretty packed right now. I got all sorts of stuff. A little bit of clothing over here. A lot of uh, framed prints and posters. These are some Newport themed stuff. I have the World Cup over here. I can't even reach the stuff. Um, that's people who won the World Cup sign that. Some movie posters in the back. You can see over there. Some cool movie posters. Um, I keep some pins on the window. These are all political pins. I have one guy that comes in and checks them out all the time. And he teaches me a lot about it. I always get impressed by the people that know what they're into and know a lot of facts about it. This guy right here, I got him out of a... I got him from a guy who was losing his storage bin. They used to put him in uh, construction sites. What I like about it is everybody that walks in here is always saying, Hey, that guy scared me. I thought that was a real guy. He got a beer can in his hand. He's dressed like an army man. Over here, I have a bunch of little antiques, some swords, um, some old field hockey sticks. I thought these were pretty cool. Rackets. This is a foot locker. I filled it full of... There's a lot of knives in there. Some sports stuff. Um, over here, I got... That's a little... Some music stuff. It's really not too organized in here but uh i don't know that's i think it gives it charm i have this is actually really cool it is the drive shaft for a model t ford and they turned it into a lamp some art this is a ton of lamps oil lamps in this corner I have costume jewelry by the ton, basically. I mean, there's so much costume jewelry in here, I don't even know what to do with. That's just because Rhode Island is, you know, the capital of costume jewelry. Most of it was made here. I got some dolls, toys. I got this deer head that I bought from a guy who owned a bar in Newport. Now, I'm, I, I'm an animal lover. I'm not really into hunting. I bought it because I thought I could flip it really quick at Brimfield. But uh, you can't sell stuff like this at Brimfield unless you have a special um, license or permit. And I don't have that. So here he is. Or she. I don't know how to tell the difference when it's only this much of the body. Over here, I have... I wish I could do it without the light. This is a Black Panther poster that's actually pretty expensive. Um, I got a lot out of a storage bin and it had a ton of Black Panther stuff. 
ton of newspapers, posters, and um, a lot of the stuff I kept because I think it's pretty interesting. Over here is some more costume jewelry. I just let my customers come in and pick through stuff. It's usually like three bucks a piece or less. This doll grows hair. If you have the key to turn her back. So over here, and then in here I have some rings. Some cameos, some jewelry, cast iron door stops. That's a old fireman's backpack. It's pretty cool. There's a bunch of baseball cards over here too. There's not really many people that collect baseball cards anymore. Some books, instruments, vintage G.I. Joes from 1964. That's the year they started making them. Uh, those are actually pretty cool. Some toys, Harley Davidson helmet, comics, Baseball cards. Yo, MTV rap cards. How cool is that? I think they'd be worth more than what they actually are worth, but a bunch of baseball cards. I used to collect baseball cards when I was a kid. That's full of cars. Coins is what I started off the store as, and now I've gotten into uh, other stuff. But so he has coins, some large bills. These are some gold coins, some silver coins um, up here. You can see I'm not really all that organized, but there's some smalls in there, small ivories. And uh, there's some, I sell a lot of face value coins. So um, here's some more costume jewelry, old tools. Sometimes people like to work with their hands and use the old tools. People come in and look for those all the time. So, just random setup of my store. Here are some flatware sets. These are pretty cool. I'll bring those to Brimfield and, and get rid of those. And then some draw poles and stuff like that. I got a old globe here. Um, I put a lot of the newspaper everywhere. It's like up on the ceiling too because I... I didn't want it to look boring, you know, I wanted... What was interesting about this is there were want ads, and this is from the 60s, this newspaper. So they separated the jobs by men and women, which you can't do nowadays, but... Well, they do it, but they just don't advertise it that way. This right here is just the door to my back. What I did was I took a lot of these photos and I just decoupaged it so that it wasn't just a boring wood door. It just gave more interest to the, uh, the you know, the, the facade, I guess you would say. Some clocks. All right, so now this is employees only. This is exclusive tour. Over here, I did this to the bathroom too. I did the newspaper thing. I got a couple masks. What's interesting about this mask right here is I had a roommate from Liberia. Her mother came to visit me and she was petrified from this mask. She said that you couldn't walk past that if you were a girl or a woman in Liberia. They put that in the bush and that meant only boys and men could go by there. So here is my uh, organization skills at its peak. I put things in piles and I say I'm going to go through them. I got some sterling in there, some jewelry, pocket watches. These are things that I have to go through. I haven't gone through yet. Things that I just buy usually end up in this area until I can go through it. So this is my view of the store. So I can see when customers first walk in. When they ring the bell, I just have to hit that button over there to let them in. It's, it takes their picture and... Um, I also have this security system that has the parking lot and the store all on camera. There's an Urkel doll. That's pretty cool. Bunch of books, some paintings, pictures. I have a lot of uh, African art. Just random stuff. The attic is full as well. Unfortunately, I keep growing and buying and buying, and I'm not fast enough to sell stuff. There's Bobby Orr, the great number four. I uh, 
had an autographed stick with that. I sold the stick. I kept the picture just because I liked it. He was so young. And I've also met him. He's an awesome guy. This, this stuff is my stuff because I'm into Wonder Woman. So I used to have this in, in a room at home. And I took it out because we turned that room into the baby's room. So here's my little Wonder Woman connect collection. I have a lot of Wonder Woman stuff. Like, There's my daughter dressed as Wonder Woman when she was first born. So there's my desk. I got the label maker for my FBA stuff. This is actually, it's more organized than it looks like it is. In here, this was my photo box, but I filled it with stuff that is important. This is my uh, filing system over here. This is important stuff that I have to get to. So, over here is my shipping station. And this thing right here that I bought, I think is the best investment that I made because it's not really all together looking good right now but um it just it's like you have an extra set of hands when you pack stuff so i keep some bubbles below i keep some packaging here you get these free from ebay quarterly which is i love that these are the ones that i use for my etsy shop has my logo on it over here these shelves are just full of See, unfortunately, I have to jump over things to get to stuff now. Someday I'm going to organize this store, and it's going to be incredible. Lots of glass stuff. I'm not really a big fan of anything glass, but salt and pepper shakers, those are cool. But I just buy anything I can buy to sell anything I can sell. Over here, this is one of my favorite things as well in the store. This is, or this has all of the patches from NASA starting with Mercury it goes all the way through up to I guess that's Apollo 17 there was a man in Barrington his father worked for NASA and he started this collection it was all of the patches there's a mirror that I think I'm gonna give to my kids soon put it in their room because they like Donald Duck. Some more costume jewelry. This store is full. So that is a tour of my store. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe someday you can stop by or you can visit me online at warnexchange.com. See what I got listed on eBay, Etsy, you name it, I list it everywhere. I buy everything, I sell everything. Thanks for checking it out. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Happy hunting!